Welcome to the least dude date, dude date. Usually there's a bunch of dudes in the car with me, but today it's my lady friend, Ellie. I'm Nick. I'm not a dude. She's not a dude. <laughs> and this is Cover Judge's Dude Dates. We just saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and it's hard to escape what the critics say before we go, but I thought it was outstanding. I thought it was outstanding as well. Definitely lived up to my expectations. What? did you think in comparison to the first one? Did it stand up to it? Well, I'm about to spoil some things here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We almost <laughs> forgot. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. We are going to talk so about everything. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Uh, we can't talk about it without talking about some spoilers. And starting now. Star-Lord's half God. <laughs> <laughs> Celestial. Celestial. Take what you will. Lowercase g. Do you think it could, like, how do you think it stood up to the first one? I thought it was awesome. I thought that all the theatrics were there, the color, the explosions. It was almost more galaxy than the yeah. last one. Yeah. While the first one was more of a getting the team together movie, this one was more of a personal, introspective mm -hmm. sort of lots look of at. Lots of, like, origins. Lots of origins, lots of moving parts within the team. Um, a lot of the complaints I've been reading about, and I've been trying to keep it spoiler free for myself before seeing it, mm -hmm. um, the team was too split up. It was it, definitely just like t disjointed. You thought so? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> well, it started to get a little unwieldy when we were looking at everybody's different stories kind of one at a time. Sure. Because it was such a long movie. It was a long movie. That part is the that's probably mm -hmm. my thorn for today. Is yeah. It was two and a half mm -hmm. hours long. Aside with, from that. But... With five, five <laughs> after credit scenes, which yeah. is just a little ridiculous in the best way. Very entertaining. Yeah. I, maybe I was expecting it to be more, the team is disjointed, but uh -huh. I really felt that it just splits off. Like Star-Lord, Drax, Gamora, Nebula, yeah. Ego, Mantis, they're all like on the same planet. Yeah. And then Groot, Rocket, and Yondu are in space jail. Yeah. I don't know. I it, think as much as they were talking about like being a family, so they like pounded that in, they weren't in the same scene for so much of the movie. That is true. That's a good point. Um, speaking of everybody, how do you feel this arc, if you will, comic books go in arcs. Mm -hmm. Have you have ever said that? How do you feel that <laughs> this times. arc went for each character? Let's do a little roll call. Okay. Um, let's start with the little guys. Mantis we were introduced to. Did you like I Mantis? Her, yeah. You liked Mantis? Yeah. I thought she was okay. Mm -hmm. She seemed a little thick sometimes. I guess she's supposed to. Yeah. I don't know. I think I liked her, maybe not so much by herself, but I liked her and Drax together. Or Definitely. Her with just her and Drax. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all you get. Yeah. Um, how about Yondu? Yondu, I loved his story in this. I think it was maybe my favorite. He or, was, yeah, he was propelled to be a main character. Yeah. In, I think, like, the best way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think one of my favorite scenes was when he was broken out of jail by one of his his men who was kind of a traitor but then saved him and it was awesome he got a new haircut <laughs> <laughs> that was sweet uh traitor or i mean in the space pirate community i bet it's really really hard to speak up yeah he would have gotten his ass kicked yeah i mean he would have gotten his ass kicked also getting broken out of jail that was one of my favorite scenes too because groot <laughs> let's talk about him so baby groot cute. For basically the entire movie. So dumb. So dumb! Groot is like, he's he's impossibly dumb in the first one, and now he is like, just breathtakingly stupid and bad at things. But, but so cute. God damn it, he's so cute. Yeah. Um, I thought his, like the whole aesthetic of Groot in this movie, I wasn't sure how he was going to look, how they were going to do it, but he was perfect he had big wet eyes oh and my god so much emotion he also like served as a weird pet yeah <laughs> and like someone that they like i don't know mm -hmm. 
I thought there was the perfect amount of Groot. One might say that the I am Groot gag between him and Rocket can get old. Yeah. I thought it was the perfect amount, though. I like that not everybody understands him. I was going into it thinking that they did, mm -hmm. but some people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, Rocket. Yeah. How did you feel about his arc? He just pulled my little heartstrings. Yeah. They hinted that in the first one where mm -hmm. he, like, takes off his shirt and you see mm -hmm. all the mechanics and, like... I, I wanted more of that. Yeah. This one wasn't as much about being not chosen to be made, mm -hmm. but more about choosing to let others in like accept yourself accept yourself yeah. accept others mm -hmm. yeah i i thought he had a really good arc and especially merging with yandu's yeah like very was, powerful like, arc yeah was, all the feels yeah. it was it was it was it was almost a tearjerker yeah um gamora nebula let's let's just mash there them together so much family drama yeah i Gamora's never everybody. been my favorite. Yeah, it was okay. Um, and she's okay. It's kind of like an overplayed storyline, I think. I think we got some real insight to Thanos being mm -hmm. a mad a titan. A terrible <laughs> yeah. father, adopted yeah. father, whatever you want to call like, it. I liked, like, I didn't like it, but I was, I liked that story where you got to finally learn what happened, like how he would take pieces of nebula nebula her, every time she lost a battle her story was heartbreaking was horrible, a yeah. lot of great insight to the character mm -hmm. nebula who i don't really know much about mm -hmm. i don't know much about gamora either mm -hmm. um all right let's get to the good ones drax secret <laughs> winner they really amp up the like i am stating the obvious but i think it's because after losing his family, he's done moping. He found his purpose. And yeah. I think a purpose is what makes Drax mm -hmm. so great. Mm -hmm. And he's legitimately he's like, happy yeah, he in his closure. new family. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he Ish. has closure. He's getting there. He has to. But I thought he was like probably the most believable character. Like he is so mm -hmm. into this. Even when he does like the crazy space stunt, like die mm -hmm. ship, and then he gets up, he's like, that was awesome. And it's, like, I was like a little nervous that they were going to like pound that in a little too heavily, and they were like right on the edge a couple times, I think. Um, but then he would do his laugh, and that got me every. <laughs> it was time. always funny. Was so his like, scream. genuine. Yeah. And for like a WWF star to be <laughs> acting like that, I, I loved it. Yeah, at the very beginning, I thought they were going to have Drax just have the punchline yeah. of everything, but it, it sort of waned it down. Mm -hmm. um, and now, without further ado, Star Lord, and we can put Ego in there too. We got a we got a hot little shirt off scene <laughs> right right at the beginning. That was great. Yeah, one for the ladies. Um, Nick. and me. Uh, yeah, no, he had um, a great arc. Obviously, it's all about Star Lord. I think he's that, the leader. Yeah, he's the leader. I, I got honestly a little bit bored with all of the like back and forth with him and his dad like going back into their history just got a little drawn out it did um but i think that him meeting his dad was such like a huge part of his story and realizing who his true daddy was <laughs> the movie dragged mm -hmm. when it was just him and ego mm -hmm. chatting it up yeah, about ego's maniacal plan yeah but Overall, Star-Lord had a good arc. Mm -hmm. He did what he had to do. Mm -hmm. You know him and Gamora are going to fucking smooch gonna, the yeah. shit out of each other in the next movie. <laughs> she started dancing. Just a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. You... Roses and Thorns. What were your what were your favorite parts? What was your... Let's start with Roses. I, my favorite, I think, was Yandu, all, in, all together in general. Like, from him, like, having this trouble at the beginning with his boss his captain and being kind of a fallen he like i don't yeah. know ravenger and then i mean he went from captain to nothing yeah to nothing and then he's in jail and then he gets broken out and he becomes kind of a hero in the end and then he dies he dies i'm sorry oh shit spoiler <laughs> i thought and he has this amazing fucking funeral at the end oh my god it just that made me want to oh cry boy. my eyes out. I was like, am I going to cry <laughs> at a Guardians of the Galaxy? I might. 
Holy crap. They're playing Cat Stevens. I'm going to cry. These do... <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to Cat Stevens, and I'm watching a firework display, and it might happen. It didn't... I could have if I would have just let it. Yeah. If I would have let it wash over me, it would have. So that was my that was my rose. I think I un unexpectedly in all these comic book movies and comic books in general. There's always the redemption story, yeah. and I thought this was a beautiful, heartfelt, and genuinely believable way yeah. for Yandu, who is more you or could less kind the of villain. See it coming in the last one, like he had, like he oh had, yeah, he had it. We never, I never really, like, no one goes into the Guardian saying, like, Yondu's the bad guy. Mm -mm. No, that's not what we're saying. But he's not a good guy. Mm -hmm. And I just thought him becoming what he yeah. did, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was, I thought it was really well done. And I'm, like, still, I'm still upset that he's dead. I yeah. Um, my Rose, that opening scene. Yes. Was so good. Tooth monster. The huge tooth monster. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. But it's all Baby Groot centric. That yeah. song I've been whistling yeah. for the last two weeks you can was on. Finally, stop whistling it. And also, you got to see immediately that the Guardians are just treating Groot like <laughs> this weird pet baby, and like he's like so he's angry. doing something, and Gamora's and like, "You need to help. Yeah. You need to help." And Groot's just waving. She's like, "Hi." Hi. Hi. It, yeah. it was so funny. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was dying at yeah. the beginning. And uh, again, like the CGI for that was it, like, they were like in a roller rink, discotheque <laughs> in space with yeah, a exactly. angry octopus. It was so it was, rad. <laughs> yeah. Um, any thorns? Mine would probably, I mean, my thorn is probably the, the, the ego stuff. I know he was like the main bad guy and he made it personal and yeah. he made it like, the introverted sort of like galaxy save because mm -hmm. I thought the scope was good yeah. that they do indeed I save the galaxy. Him to be badder. Is that weird? I, I like, mean, he smashed his Walkman. Squished. That is, yeah, I mean, you're right. You don't really come back from that. No. And he also killed his mom. <laughs> With the worst... Oh, right. I think it was more like his facial expressions. I Ooh. didn't... I mean, he's just breezy Kurt Russell. Who can <laughs> stay mad at that guy? <laughs> That's true. Um, that was my only complaint. It's like the ego stuff. It was a little boring. And for a long movie, you don't need that. No. I think it... Like the family stuff just got a little too drawn out. Um, it was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any thorns for you that we didn't mention? I think that was it. It was just too much like origin stuff, mm -hmm. like all for one movie. Maybe they could have spread it out a little. Yeah. If you think we missed something, if you think we're totally wrong about anything, don't say be anything, nice to though. Ellie. Yeah. Okay. She's not always on these. She's doing <laughs> a great job though. Um, if you want to let her know what a great job she did, if you want to tell me what a blowhard I am, leave something in the comments. Let us know. Um, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our comments and thoughts. Go see the movie. Yeah, go see the movie and check for more <laughs> for more on Guardians 2, more on movies, more go. on due dates. <laughs> go visit CoverJudger.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.